You are dead, ladies and gents. How's it going? Welcome back to another episode. I think this is the third one of my Tamiya Hornet build. In the last episode, we got the rear suspension completed, attached the gearbox and motor to the chassis, and put the uh, little uh, side protections on as well. I know this isn't my usual sort of content, so uh, those of you that are interested in this, I do appreciate every single one of you that takes the time out of your day to take a look at this. I wouldn't normally post this stuff, uh, but people told me to, so I did. So watch it. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you are enjoying this build, and uh, don't forget to give a little sub if you do. Anyways, right, let's crack on. Keep that one. Drop us on. So when we stopped last time, uh, was a natural break. I needed to get the battery charged up, which I have done. I've done that overnight, and now we are going to sort out the electrics, at least uh, program it all so it all works and it is in a rough base setting so that we can uh, control this beastie once it's all together and complete. So as you can see, I've got the electronics Pulse 4 controller which was just bundled in with the deal that I got. I have no idea if it's any good or not. It'll do the job um, as far as I'm concerned. I'm not a professional. I just want to have a little bit of fun with this. I've got a Neumann battery here for the moment, but I do have some LiPos ordered. I will be uh, getting them charged up when they arrive, um, as I think LiPos are the future of batteries. I've got one with a hard case, so it should be a bit protected from exploding and stuff. Servo. I'm guessing this is the ECU speed controller type thing um, and then that's the receiver which comes with the controller. All right, let's get going. So the steering servo came with its own little pack of bits but actually Tamiya provide the ones you need and this one here all depends on what type of steering servo you've got um, because that hole on the back fits different ones. So, I've got all the bits together. Let's screw this up. Now then, steering servo needs to be with servo in neutral position. Um, I'm assuming it's in its neutral position out the box. But I'm not going to turn it to find out. We shall find out when we plug it all in. So we've got this, which goes on there. It's not quite vertical, so let's just twist it on. Yeah, it's, I don't think that's exactly in its true north. Um, we will find out. We'll find out. And this collet goes on here. Like so. And this goes on here. like so then we have this going in there and this screw which should be the right one for this servo goes in there So that's in as close to neutral as I could possibly do. Who knows? We shall find out. We shall find out. Okay, so we've got the servo, the receiver, and the speed controller. Channel one, which is the bottom one, is for the steering. The steering attached. Then channel two is the throttle, which is this one. Yeah, that fits in that way much better. So I'm guessing I was putting them in upside down. Okay, so that way around. Cool. Okay, and although this is a three channel controller, we're only using two channels is the thing we're interested in at the moment and plug that 
into the battery. Okay, so I now need to pair the receiver with the transmitter. To do that, I need to turn this on by pushing that button there while holding down that button there, and then look for status LEDs and a beep. Okay, so we've got the beeping blue noise, that's grand. And now I need to turn this on. Okay, turn the transmitter off and then switch it back on again. And they're paired. Magic! It says green in the instructions, but blue is green, I guess, if you're not greenest. <laughs> so that's then paired. That's grand. Okay, so now we need to do the steering rods. And each side is a different length, and we've got to make sure that the length of them is correct. You should just screw in. That looks pretty much cock on, 60 millimeters. And this one needs to be 43. That looks about it. And it goes that way around. Now then, with the steering servo, Hook these on, and by the looks of it, they go from behind, like that. Like that. This is another pin for the body shell, which looks like it goes here. Okay, so these arms need to go through the bottom of that. I think like that.
I'm going slightly outside of the instructions on this bit because it makes more sense to do so with this switch having one off written on it whereas it wouldn't do if I went with how the instructions say to do it. Righty, well I think that is a good place to stop. This took a little bit longer to do than I was expecting it to. So um, yeah, I don't want to make your videos too long and boring. Um, that's if you're finding them interesting at all in the first place anyway. <laughs> Talking of finding them interesting, I do hope you are. I am only joking when um, I say it's boring. Uh, it's just because it's not what I normally do, so it's not necessarily what um, you want to watch. But it's just once every Sunday while this is being built, I shall put these videos up. If you did like this video and you haven't done so already, why not click that subscribe button? It'd be awesome to have you come back and watch the rest of this series. And uh, if you're into your motorbikes as well, maybe you'd uh, enjoy the rest of my content too, because the majority of my channel is motorcycle based. Again, if you did enjoy it, please give it a little thumbs up. And if you didn't, you can always give it a little thumbs down. That's all cool. It's all cool in the school. We don't mind. We don't care. But whatever you do, please do drop in a comment. I love hearing from you. Anyhow, you play safe. Take care. And I shall catch you all in the next one. Bye bye for now. Keep that bike. Rubber side down. Hey, no, you gotta keep that bike. Rubber side down.